Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this thin film or oil slick rainbow effect inside of Redshift for Cinema 4D. Let's start from this simple scene. We have one torus, uh, one background plane and uh, three aerial lights that I'm just highlighting some uh, sides of the torus uh, to get it kind of more expressive and dome lights that just fill everything in this scene. Let's create new redshift material and uh, drag and drop it uh, on the torus. Uh, in my case it will be black because I'm using linear color space because I found the resulting color more beautiful but it's not that big deal. You can use uh, sRGB color space or linear whatever you like here. And uh, we need to create some black and white mask and for this purpose we can use Fresnel node we can set curve fill off to 2 to get some nice black and white gradient. And the next thing that you will try to do is to colorize this map with, for example, ramp node and using some gradient presets. But personally, I find it not that handy, not that useful, because it's hard to create some uh, physical kind of nature stuff with this just linear interpolated colors. Uh, I seek for the solution and suddenly find this picture. It shows the whole gradient of, for example, soap film or oil slick bubbles or wherever and created my uh, custom tilt film node. It accepts as the input uh, black and white map and output exactly that gradient. It's almost physically correct. So uh, inside this node, you can change the scale to kind of increase the uh, density of that waves. Uh, you can use offset to start from different color to use, for example, white at the beginning or some else from this, the whole gradient that we created. And you can use the power if you don't like that gray color at the end. Uh, everything will be kind of more saturated, but it will be less physically correct. So, uh, next thing that we should do, we should uh, insert it somewhere inside of our material, and I prefer to use Code Color tab for this. Uh, at Coating tab, we could increase weight to 1 and uh, Index of Reflection to 3 to create more bright effect. And that's basically it. Uh, then I just tweak in some color parameters, diffuse parameters and uh, reflections, set metalness to maximum and set roughness to maximum also. And that's how we like it. Another thing that we can do, we could mix Fresnel with some noise. Uh, we can use color mix noise for this purpose. We need to uh, make sure that we keep our mix amount low because it will be really weird results to if we get it to maximum and we should uh, increase noise scale and uh, i'm here choosing i'm setting scale to 11 and choose noise new to us i believe it's just uh, second after that default noise and here we can create some nice rough and edges with thin film and about that snake scene, I used creature scales substance that I get from substance share site. It's absolutely free and it generates that nice uh, maps that automatically can convert to, can be converted to the redshift material. And here inside of reflection channel, I mix that original reflection map with my uh, rainbow that I get from thin film node. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Here we can see uh, my original gradient. I just used Fresnel here, uh, plug it in, in film and uh, mixed, as I said, with uh, default texture. And as you can see, default texture is kind of a little bit boring, but if you add a little bit of rainbush, it goes really nice, but don't get too much of that rainbow color. Of course, also with this thin film node, you can create some soap bubbles effect or some soap film. Uh, here I'm multiplying Fresnel node with Maxon noise, plug it into the thin film node, and then plug it into reflection color, uh, code color, and code transmittance channels. 
and small tip if you find find two saturated thin fill node outputs you can mix it using color mix node with gray color and that's basically it i really like to see what you guys can achieve with my node again link to the lot in the description and please tag me on the instagram with your works and enjoy it thanks for watching